citizens of the reject nation it is time to make it to our third part of the final destination it's final destination three where are we going we're gonna go on the roller coaster of love today roller coaster okay you predicted highway to hell i'm predicting roller coaster of love let's see if that's true i see roller coaster i think it's fun family movie probably going to be their first comedy in the franchise. A first comedy? <laughs> These past two have been hilarious. Yeah, all the physical comedy that you told me would be there. If you guys like these movies as much as we do and you like that we're doing these reactions, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, if you want to get the full length reaction watch along, then make sure you can sync up with us if you go to patreon.com slash the real rejects. Greg and John are covering several shows exclusively over there with reaction and highlights and watch alongs included that's where all the super sexy rejects are oh yeah oh yeah the way that you are rubber chickening your neck right now I'm i didn't stretch here we go I time wanted, to charm i wanted to wish your, your grammy a happy birthday it's my grammy's 96th birthday she's going there immediately after this so yeah i am fine. so she thought she should get a horror show in <laughs> right before going to see her grandparents she wanted cotton pajamas oh yeah that's so sweet so that's exactly what she'll get happy birthday okay but did you hear my third time's a charm reference like that was a great transition that you i might have been so focused on making sure i got my thing in there that i didn't quite but good job because final listening three so third time's a charm now Your friends. Yeah, all your friends. Tweet it out. Recommend this video. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> You're stoked. We're at the theme park already. We're at the theme park. Let's go. Roller coaster. <laughs> this is a cool intro. This is way more horror like, I feel. Like, this is it vibes. That's cool. The tarot cards. Mary Elizabeth Winstead is in this? I love her. I'm waiting to see you directed this because this looks really good. Bright colors, different. More pop. Oh boy, the anxiety of a theme park. I think it's a carnival. Yeah, definitely. James Wong. Oh, James Wong co wrote it. Cool. James Wong is back to direct it. So Sweet. he did all three of these so far? He did the first one, and, and he didn't do the second one. Oh. I love these rides. Okay. They tell you to scream on the way up to tighten your stomach so it doesn't drop as much. Yeah. That is a scary shot. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Kid on the right, what is his name? He's Texas Longbottom or whatever that guy's name was. Very, very <laughs> famous. We are going to get annihilated for that. What do you see? No V. Hot die? Yeah, die. And to feel how that would be just crash and burn like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe for you. Oh, he, what TV show? Is it Dawson's Creek or what? He, Who is it? Yeah, he looks like he's played a really nice guy before or a douchebag. Seventh Heaven? No, he's from one of those shows we watched growing up. Oh, what does it kill you makes you stronger, man. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Yeah. I love how the main characters are always in the situations where they're with their friends and it's the most terrifying <laughs> situation beforehand for them. See, this can't be a carnival, right? Carnivals don't have roller coasters like that. It's a movie carnival. Come on, give it. It's not even mine. Kevin, it's the yearbooks. Oh, I said Kevin. <laughs> His name's Kevin. <laughs> Oh, oh, it. Upskirting women is a big no-no. These -no. are for the yearbook. I doubt it. If a shot of Stacey Kobayashi's camel gonna make it in there. <laughs> I'd buy <it> two. <laughs> <laughs> we got the bros back. He would make me crazy. I'm breaking up with him. Get it, girl. Uh-huh. You don't need no man. Now, that shot there, that'll sell some yearbooks. <laughs> I love it. Was it One Tree Hill? No. Nah, he does look familiar. I think he's in another horror movie. I love the 2000s songs out. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
same as the exact things uh, the last two, mm -hmm. focusing on weird images. That was so awesome, Ashley. Ashley. Oh my god, Puzz. I do miss carnivals. Haven't been to one in a long time. You gotta stop calling it a carnival, though, it bro. It is a carnival. How is it a carnival? Because like, what about the pier? What do you call the Santa Monica Pier? Back off, with <laughs> <God>. <laughs> So fair. Here we go. What's a goddamn? Woo! Oh my god, is he our token black guy? That's what I'm talking about. Oh no. 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 I was gonna decapitate someone. Me transcending became one with you saying oh no. There it is. Awesome. There yeah, it is. Pump the jams. Of the end. Look at the nipples on that dead devil. This is a really nice carnival. <laughs> this is a carnival. The prizes, and the, or it could be the pier. They say the real fear with these rides comes from the feeling of having no control. It's a dude in the other horror movie you made me watch. What movie? With the newspaper <laughs> and the family and their dead. Black phone? That was Ethan Hawke. No, not, <laughs> not Black Phone. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? No exit after turnstile? Yeah, something along those lines. Okay, so which of your her friends do you think are going to die first? Ooh, probably her best friend. The girl who's going to dump the dude? Yeah. <laughs> you see, I think James Wong is, is a much better composer with his frames. Like, there's much more sharp direction. A roller coaster is just elemental physics, a conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy. Yeah, odds are like 1 in 250 million of dying on a roller coaster. Oh, my goodness. Bummer, you guys are dead. <laughs> You're more likely to die driving to an amusement park than dying at one. That's those, true. Those are some amusement park. Amusement, amusement park. park is an amusement park, damn it. Would you tell me back off? <laughs> the guy from the other horror movie you made me watch. The Descent? No, that it was all women. I like this. Frankie Cheeks is old school, ladies. What's that? Oh, well, it'd be my honor. Oh, oh. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Hated that. This guy is repulsive. I can't sit in the front. I cannot see the tracks. I'll freak. Well, Carrie will sit in the back with you, right, babe? Because we're girls? Oh, no. Whoever sits with her is going to live. Whoever doesn't is going to die. All right, you know what? We'll just settle this like real men. How about that? Yeah. Hmm? Call it. Heads. Shit. They found out he died in the newspaper. <laughs> we'll <laughs> figure it out later. <laughs> hey, uh, just do me a favor. Keep an eye on her because she's kind of freaked out. Oh, cool. Yeah. I have no idea. I, have, I have literally have no That's idea. That's why he's going back because he's the most famous one. <laughs> oh, okay. So I can't kill him yet in the movie. Ooh, six, six, six. That's a devil number, baby. This devil. Cool shot. Here we go. Hey, Jay. Keep your hands to yourself, man. I'm serious. Stop. Hey, back, bitch. God damn you. Now I'm like trying to figure out. Oh no, what's <laughs> happening? What's happening? Hey, he no, sneaks no, in there. Out. Let's just get in the back, okay? Ooh, now they're gonna live. Or are we gonna see the death thing happen, and then they never get on? I'll meet you at the end. Hey, how'd you guys get in here? Come on. Oh, you too. That's an interesting detail about those little kids. What do you think that has to do with it? Yeah, I'm curious too. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. Is it dripping blood? <laughs> it looks like it. How do you do on roller coasters? I used to be great. Now I'm terrible. <laughs> Loser. Yep. What? I'm just kidding. Is this... This is going to be an enjoyable reaction. <laughs> I'm, my chest just hurts now <laughs> whenever I'm on a roller coaster. I get it. Oh. oh. Ew. Oh, Ew. Woo! 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 
Maybe yeah. once we get back to this, if they don't get on, the kids do get to stay on or something, and then the kids die. I don't know. That was yeah. a really interesting detail. My mom. These guys are acting like this is the roller coaster of the century right now. It's exciting. <laughs> Everyone's like, this is the most exciting ever. Every time I've been on a roller coaster, we're just like, all right, let's just go. My mom used to put cardboard in my shoes so I'd be tall enough to ride the rides. I wonder how safe that was. That's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> This looks just like Gol Colossus or Goliath. That's yeah, I wonder where they shot this. Also, you wonder how many times they had to shoot these scenes. I know, right? Whoa. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> this is a really well captured roller coaster scene. Oh, she is not having a good time. They could be just setting us up right now. Yeah, they just get off the ride. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, the pervert cost them. <laughs> That is so scary. Yeah, that is that scary. That is terrifying. That is scary. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Oh, no. <laughs> How is it going to stop? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> that is so scary. <laughs> They do a great job of taking what are some people's biggest fears and making them the beginning of their <laughs> movies. Yeah. Oh my God, he's holding on. Grab him, grab him. Oh no, his legs. Oh Jesus. Was this all because of the camera, or there was like 80 things that happened? Yeah, there's the pipe bursting, too. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Whoa, they really hung those people there. Help me rock it, smart. Oh, got it. oh no. Oh, that is so scary. Yeah. Sit down, sit down. Oh! <laughs> You know, that honestly might have been the scariest one to me. Yeah. Because it's so many people's it's, irrational it's, fear. It's, right? yeah. it's like, let me out! Let me out! When? When? It's all right. It's no, it's going to crash. It's going to crash. When? The hydraulics will rupture the dragon's will go to please. I am so glad they got Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She is such a great actress. Yeah, she's really good. I saw it. I saw it in my head. The tracks collapsed. The roller goes through. No, she was just a little upset before. Man, right. please. Can you please control that bitch? Oh. Damn. Damn, dude. Man, she's just trying to get some fucking attention. You know what? You're a real piece of shit, Lewis. F you. Yeah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, the franchise is full of the most insensitive people. <laughs> Relax! Where are you ladies going? There's a fight. Dude, let me off. I gotta make sure she's okay. Aw, oh, this poor guy. Let's go! Hey! Dude! Ho! Let's go! Hey! Ho! Let him out. Let's go! They're not gonna uh, let him out. Bummer. Dude, that's my girlfriend! Oh, that's not sad. for long. <laughs> that's sad. This is what you get for not sitting with your girlfriend. Yeah. 
Settle down at home. Now listen, what is your home phone number? Okay, we can call your mother. They're about to watch everybody start falling. <laughs> wow. Good one. Damn, this is a good franchise. Yeah, that's what I told you. I know, and I agreed. That's what I said, and then you also said it, and then I said it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're on the same page. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to connect a little bit more to these characters. Yeah, I'm already in on them. I really cared about that situation when he, he couldn't get off of the roller coaster. Do we? Did it say how long after this is? Not yet. Oh, he's in the locker. I'm telling you, he was in the newspaper. I believe you. We'll look it up later. Oh. Come on, give me the exposition. It's been six months. Yeah. <laughs> Say it. If it wasn't for you and Jay being friends, and me and Carrie being friends, we wouldn't have even hung out. But now you're going to be lovers. Oh, wow, that's cold. Yeah, but I get it. So we're ready for graduation tonight. We're going to the tanning salon after this. And we are so totally cool if you want to come with. Oh, you know there's going to be a tanning salon death. They get stuck in there and burned to death? Yes. Yeah. You're not alone. God, I appreciate everyone trying to help. I really do. No, it's happened before. Okay, I, I went online looking for an explanation. I like him. I know, I like them both. They really have a lot of angry women in their franchise. <laughs> Men write it. They went on a trip to Paris. When they were boarding, a kid had a vision that the plane was going to explode. And over the next several months, everyone who got off that plane started dying in weird accidents. They died in the order they would have if they had stayed on the plane. Cute them. I, I'm i liking this, the characters more. Do they not know about the car accident one, too? I guess not. The, the most televised one was the Flight 180. Also, what did he Google to get that? Has this ever happened before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a popular incident. This one's a story about grief. I was thinking of going for 20 minutes in the Muller. We did that for all the funerals, and it turned out amazing. Extremely oh, no. flammable. I was just thinking we'd go for, like, a tune-up. I just want to make sure that we look our best. Yeah. You know, for all those kids that died that night, we'll never get a graduation. <laughs> Have you ever gone on a tanning bed? No, no. Have you? Way too many times when I was a kid. They're actually very relaxing, I guess, unless they explode. <laughs> we'll watch this movie. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this let's see if is you go my, back. my good guy luck bracelet that Grandma left me in her will. Julie? Guys, you're not really mad with each other. I could use some help. Oh. I can't talk to mom and dad. You're all I have left. I can't you talk to mom and dad. Maybe you could come stay with me for a while. You know I will. Aw. Yes. Yes, sister. Keep this now, and I'll get it when I come see you. I forget, was she on the ride? I know she was at I the was theme park. I was just questioning that right now, too. I can remember. Can I use a school camera for graduation tonight? Actually, the battery's pretty low, so why don't you go get ready, and I'll recharge it a bit. Oh, there's going to be stuff in the photos. She gets the photos back on. The upskirting. Yeah, that's the one that's going to stand out. <laughs> no drinks in the room this time, okay? Very 2000s. Uh. What? He's going to get stuck outside, and she's not going to be able to help them. I am really enjoying the refinement aspects of the execution of this. No, don't go above 12 minutes, honey. It's what a horrible thing to have happen, and I don't even know what happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> What? What is going to happen? He's going to not be able to open the door. It's going to get stuck, and they're going to be stuck in the machines, and he can't get them out, and they're going to, like, burn to death. At least one of them. Maybe. We'll see. What does she see? What? I don't know what that yeah. means. She literally touched it, and I still don't know what it was. 
Dude, he said no drinks. If you spill that shit, we're gonna have to clean it up like last time. Mm. Maybe it's just we called her for the machines or whatever. Oh, a few degrees won't hurt. I've never been into a salon with two in one room. Oh, great. It's so bad for you. Kids will be kids. Teens will be teens, Greg. Shit, I forgot my iPod. They got CDs. I feel like there's going to be some, like, insane domino effect. Yet again. Yeah, this franchise does do interesting things. <laughs> I think there's interesting things in this franchise for sure. Bill Booby never heard anybody. Sometimes I just can't take my eyes off the screen, you know? Because <laughs> you got you can't miss anything. I just you can't miss any detail. You never together. know what's going to happen. You just got to look. Maybe we should rewind it. Oh, this is going to be disturbing as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I can really feel this. <laughs> yeah. Let the fun begin. Oh, no. <laughs> They're playing this all right. It just stunned on me. <laughs> I said it. I yeah, called you it. You totally called yeah. it. <laughs> I hit you and you look yeah. at me like, what? Uh, yeah. I said it. I was looking at something else on screen. <laughs> okay, you you got Highway to Hell. I got Roller Coaster of Love. Oh, wow, you really called it. <laughs> Does that mean that we are predicting the future and therefore... <laughs> are we going to have something happen? <laughs> if the producer is still watching this, can you put us in Final Destination 6? Please and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be so gross. Oh, I... Oh, no. With the goggles too, it's creepy. This is a really yeah. smart move of theirs, of the th of the movie, not the girls. I think it's a great combination of both. Whoa, cool shot. Sorry, the battery's totally dead. The camera's not working. Sorry. Look, Julie, I need a minute, okay? Take the grandma's necklace back. <laughs> I just gotta call him. What are the odds they play Roller Coaster of Love later in the movie? Yeah, yeah just, after the Roller Coaster yeah, stuff. That's pretty gnarly. That is. <laughs> you said it too hot in here. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Death, you genius. This is Wendy. Give me a call whenever you guys are done, and thanks again for the invite. Stay calm. Sorry, I was too late. You can cool your body down with meditation. Oh no. You can't slide out of there? Greg. Greg. Oh god. They are not going to look good for graduation. Whoa. Oh, how horrible. That was... Whoa, great match cut. Did you see that? It Damn. Did. That was horrifying. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God, Greg. The end of the nudity. Yes, that was the sad part. <laughs> We are all equal in death's eyes. They just like dress the same everywhere they go. All of us, how can you say that? Shut up, McKinley. Dude, think it through. Charlie Manson, mid to 70. Osama, let's go. Still kicking. Pimps. Nope. We got him. <laughs> we got his ass. America. You'd be happy to know. <laughs> These two girls who never done shit to anybody, Shh. they don't get to make it to 18. Come well, on, I can, yeah. Fine. Mary Elizabeth Winston wants to get off the ride. Says she's a bitch who wants attention. Guy freaks out at a funeral. Yeah. Come on, Come bro. On. Let's go. <laughs> this is so my fault. 
Seeing women is nothing but fun bags. <laughs> if I had seen their, whatever, humanity, they wouldn't have felt the pressure to look so good. Impress Franklin Cheeks. She looks like Jennifer Love Hewitt. Be proud of your ability to make everything that happens somehow a story about you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Tough <mess>. oh my <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah, man. I think just James Warner really knows how to c capture the colors of movies, man. This looks so good. Hey, if you ever have to come to my funeral, man, bring me a PSP or something. At least I have something to do then. Hello? I'm with Jay. You think they're going to fall in love? We haven't had that happen full blown yet. Maybe a little disrespectful, huh? I don't know, man. Works in mysterious ways. I didn't want to upset anyone by being there. And I wondered if maybe here I could feel Jay's spirit or presence. Or if there's any place that makes you feel like there's no life after death. Huh. Yeah, I don't carry spirit either. No, I tried. Good conversation. God, no, it was just to get me on the ride. He said, your fear is from a sense of having no control. Ah. Uh. And I felt that fear since the moment he said it. It's like a presence. Like a living thing, always with me. Remember, Carrie was gonna break up with him. Yeah, yeah. She hasn't even. She hasn't even mentioned that. Yeah, she will in a mean moment. It's cold and terrifying. Trippy. So, trying to think about the roller coaster, who should be next? Then the two I girls, no and then idea. the guy who was videotaping them, the one who just tried to kiss. Yeah, like, yeah, probably. Although he took the. He took her their spaces. Yeah. So really, would they be next? They were last. No, but remember, originally they were behind the two girls, and then the guy jumped in front of them and took their spaces. I don't remember well enough. Yeah. To videotape them, and that's when they moved to the back where the kids were. The photographic plate was broken, causing a line that can't be removed. Exactly where he was shot. What? <laughs> Look, see the shadow. Well, what do these pictures have to do with us? This occurred one year to the day of the Flight 180 disaster. Hey, part two. But you can't believe every weird thing out there because you're desperate for an answer. I took these. I don't get what you see. Oh, I'm totally missing whatever it is. There's like an image of it that's like a line. These 180 degrees. So it's just a line. Oh. I think is what she's saying. Well, what's Frankie's picture look like? It's right here. Sorry. I think death feels more like a haunting, looming presence in this one, too. Ooh, good advertisement. This donkeys? Yeah. Well, this is obvious. He's falling off a ladder. A rope ladder, though. Maybe he might hang. Oh, okay. So in the pictures, there's it alludes to how they die. Okay, yeah, there's just signs in there. What, like he's going to get crushed by a giant Spongebob? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, Spongebob lives underwater. <laughs> so sad that you know that. Everybody knows that. It's a song. What was the 180 part, though? Aren't those usually on those big 18-wheelers? Yeah, yeah. I don't see it in this picture anywhere, though. All right! Yeah, it's because he's not going to get killed by the 18-wheeler. You guys were next. I... I feel like he's about to die. What do you want? Are you okay? Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. No, they're gonna get skipped over, but it is coming right now. 180. 180. Oh, that guy's way too close to my truck. Hey, you're too fucking close, man. Pull up. <laughs> oh, death is having so much fun. Someone walking behind. Oh shit. Get out, get out. There's no one in that truck! Watching your footsteps. What an insane domino effect. Oh, is that pervert guy? Uh, in front of them? Remember, I told you they were next. <laughs> no, if it's pervert guy in front of them, he's gonna die. <laughs> Kick out, kick out, yep, yep, get out. Get out. Wow. Yo! 
<laughs> it was pervert guy. Did you see him? I, I saw him, but I don't think it was. Oh, it was. Good one. So was it coming for pervert guy or was it coming for that? Pervert guy. But yeah. but why then in the first movie was it based on the, your original seats, not the seats that you sat in? I have no idea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? <laughs> yeah. We can walk to my house and then I'll give you a ride to yours. Yeah, thanks. We'll be okay. You know, I feel like this one is doing the. You asked me in the last video what I wish the sequels would do, and this one's giving it to me. Like, there's more tension. Making them care about <laughs> yeah, the deaths. Yeah, care more. Yeah. No, them care room. about the deaths. That's what you the, were. Yeah. Well, overall, I do. Just care more about everything. No, but the characters care more about the deaths. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm bad. laughs> okay, easy. Uh, cool, cool. Hand. All right, he was behind Ashley and Ashley on the ride, but there was no ladder here. You know, there was no rope, nothing. Because this one was coming for you guys. It's better not knowing. No, it's never better staying ignorant. Willful ignorance is surrendering control. There's philosophy in this movie, man. Oh. Tell him. Don't tell him. Tell him. Why would you do that? Because then she could have a shot. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna ask her to marry me. Oh. Oh, really? She was gonna break up with you. Upskirt picture. This picture shows how he died. All right, go back to Lewis. The weight looks like it's coming down on his head. This is so cool. You got to interpret photos. Oh, that is really awesome. Agreed. With these pictures of us in there? Yeah, of course. No, no, I don't want to see mine. No. But you got to be able. If there's any way to beat this thing, I got to stay focused. And if I look at that picture, all I'm going to do is obsess. So you know what? No, I don't want to see it. Weird would logic. You, would you want to see? I would want to see. Hundred percent. I want to see. Yeah. You old crack. Wait. They're literally like personal trainers who have died at the gym from like weightlifting wrong and an accident happening. Of course. <laughs> I love the game of clues in this one. You both lost people real close to you in a f***ed up way. And in order to feel less guilty or whatever, seeing signs and patterns, man. Did this say that something would smash on his head? Based on the... Yeah, it looked like something was going to smash on his head, so they should be on the lookout for something smashing on his head. <laughs> but that would cut off his head, not smash. Yeah, but smash. that's in the picture. It's a mislead. Right, no, they're just seeing that the bear's here, this is here. You're here and alive because of her. No, I'm alive because of me. You don't get it, man. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? It's bullshit. Two movies in a row where the black guy really doesn't believe. Yeah. Vision. I hope they save him and four years from now, Louis Romero going in the second round of Oak. Stop. Fifteen seasons of force. I can't get over how great the direction is in this. Oh no. Kevin, because baby, I just win. I just win, Kevin. That's all I know how to do. I just win. You think it's gonna happen? Yeah. Stop. Ew. Stop him. <laughs> That's gonna fall on his head. Oh no, something's gonna crush him. Something's gonna crush his head. Something's gonna crush his head. No. Well, his head's Kevin, open. Huh? His head's open. That's all I know how to do, Kevin. Baby, I just win. Oh. Oh. Uh. That was like the dentist scene for me. Just <laughs> Why me? Oh, if there's people out there wanting to have a premonition or see a ghost or whatever, I don't. This one's like existential and reflective. I, I like it a lot. With stereotypical ensembles getting killed off. <laughs> My head's not like through the windshield or anything. Yeah, you know, uh, crushed by a steering wheel, paled by a gear shift. He's definitely gonna die in this movie. Just look at the photo, man. Yeah, and then make out with her because that's what I want. I want it to happen. They're both really good looking. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you got those plywood orders yet? Ah, uh, it's a big no, Pip. Osama bin supervisor wants me to get rid of these pigeons first. They keep setting off the alarms. Wow. Couple Osama references. Yeah, I know. This guy loves referencing Osama. It's the same guy who referenced yeah. Osama. And we did have a picture of the Twin Towers, too. Babies? Yeah. Oh, that's cruel. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for you to die now. That's really cruel. What was in his picture? Do you remember? I hope it's something horrible now. Hi! It's Winnie and Kevin. 
You scared the shit out of me. Yeah, wait till you hear what we have to tell you. Uh, you were scared before? Just wait till you talk to us. You'll be even more scared. Isn't that exciting? I'm gonna OD on nail polish. And Ian is gonna be embarrassed to death. Right, what's happened to the others? I mean, you just saw their pictures. And that. Uh, what's going on? That's crazy. <laughs> I feel like there's some theme here about like surrendering control or something. Are you guys saying that death is like a person? No, it's like like a force. There's no goals, no awareness that it is a force. In fact, in past cases, if the next in line is safe. What do you think about the kids from the beginning still though? I guess there's nothing to them. No, maybe they snuck on somewhere else. I don't know. Kevin. Hey, watch those boxes! I mean, if you freak the guy out like that, you're gonna get him killed. Death is just the end of biological function. It's as simple as that. I definitely oh. met people like that guy. Yeah, me too. I was <laughs> just thinking that. What was the pigeon being I mean, shot with? Oh, the nail gun? Right, we'd all yeah. Be dead right now. Uh, well, that's how he's gonna go. He was eating French toast when Princess Diana died in Paris, and then he saw her funeral on TV, and now he's dead. Oh. You know why this is crazy? sound crazy, so guess how you do sound like Wow, Death, you are so clever. Zip, I'm done, so finish getting those orders so we can get out of here. Okay. What do you think's happening here? Something with a nail gun, right? Right, yeah. I think the nails are gonna get him somehow. <laughs> do you not hear it falling? <gasps> They've really amped up the domino effect here. Like, every death has had a very <laughs> crazy order of events that led to it. Maybe it's that they have to die simultaneously if they were sitting next to each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. That's a good guess. Oh, because Pervert Guy was sitting alone. How do you guys not hear any of this? I don't know. Oh, because oh. of that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I'm unclear on what, but can't be good. <laughs> I love the staging of these things. What is the writer's room like? And then this happens, and then this, and then this, and then, then they die. What if the last in line were to make the utilitarian choice kill themselves? Mm, good question. That's pretty much going to ruin any plan that Death's put in motion. And even better, hey, he's going to save five skipped lives. But is she capable of doing that because in the last movie they, they weren't the guy wasn't able to death is always making an entrance he's gonna shoot her there, those. oh no oh, 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 the nail gun. oh, 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 oh that is brutal Oh, she's still breathing. There's a little lot. There's more dread to this. That was gory. I guess they don't have to die at the same time. Did they believe you? Would you believe me? No, they looked at me like I was crazy. For all we know, whoever was sitting behind Aaron is already dead. And we're next. I think you're right. I think it's his sister. Do you think this is going to have any tie into the second one? Uh, I mean, they mentioned it <laughs> briefly, the second one. When? When she was first pulling up the photos. She said this happened on the highway. What I mean is like referencing the second one, how the second one referenced the first one. They were all like a byproduct. Uh, they, they mentioned the logs situation, the highway scene. No, I get what you're saying. I'm asking if we think their deaths are impacted by the second movie's deaths, the way the second movie's deaths were impacted by the first movie's deaths. They were showing uh, like the highway sequence in the second movie. <laughs> <Just messing. laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I think I don't think they're gonna do that. You don't? No. Let me ask you guys at that centennial thing, and I could really use my good luck. Good luck, Grace. It's going to come in handy. No, I think it's how she's going to find out her sister's dead. You think the somehow the brace is going to lead to her death? No, I think it's going to be left over. She knows it was her sister who died because the rest of her body so mangled, but she sees the bracelet. All right, all right. I'm not I sure. Like, I like your guesses. I like where you're at. I like the way you think. <laughs> Does she see the bracelet? Yeah, man. It's the bracelet. Ah, yeah. dude. Hey, you did good. You're doing good this thing. Oh, a lot of guesses right. I don't know. I'm kind of a genius. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Do you remember Julie being on the roller coaster? 
What, your sister? No. Amber or Perry were probably with her, so they're next. I gotta find Julie. She went to the tricentennial thing. I'm here now, working security. Do we know he did that? No. <laughs> Yours is the picture that I took when I flashed the camera in your face. It's all out of focus and overexposed. Like a firework went off in my face. <laughs> hey, we gotta clear out. Up. Mm -hmm. oh. Here we go. It's all. Did you ever have to do the Rube Goldberg projects in school? No. I wasn't as talented as you. You'd set like a domino and it would hit to a string and the string would go to a whatever, like all the. Yeah, yeah. This is that. This is all the, how death operates. <laughs> what was in Julie's picture other than her bracelet? A hand. <laughs> That's great. Sweet. You guys are tools. Get lost. Mary and Pippin. Jesus Christ. Julie! No, wait, wait. Maybe Julie lent her bracelet to a friend. I don't know. Middle finger. Horse. Damn. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bummer. It's not over. It's not over. <laughs> Ouch. Good stunt work. Yeah, cut that string. Is that a real sword? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I love him. I know, he's about to die. Julie, you have to tell me. You have to listen. Tell me who was sitting next to you on the roller coaster. Oh my god, Julie, you alright? <laughs> who was sitting next to you on the roller coaster? Oh no, the, the horse is about to kill one of her friends. Nobody. There was nobody sitting next to her. No, oh, no, she's about to get Asian fucking. Girl. Oh. No. Put it together. Kevin, yeah. Go get Kevin. Put it together. Oh. Ooh, that kick alone would have killed him. Oh. She pulled him out? Yeah. Oh, no, but now it's her. You saved my life. Something McKinley. Let's see that horse kick alone would have oh, killed him. Oh, it is about McKinley. It's about the guy. He's McKinley. His name's McKinley. Oh, it is? Okay. What's the deal? Early on, he's had, I can't believe my name's the same name as the high school. Oh, yeah, that's right. Get the f*** out of here, McKinley. Hey, I'm just celebrating our town's tricentennial. Oh, that's right, because he believes to kill her. It yeah, stop yeah, this yeah. Whole thing. yeah. Just tell me how to start it off. Let's get this over with. It skipped me. For me, it is over. I'm not dying. They say it saved you, man. Now, if, if it skips her, it goes back to him, right? Oh, this fool's going to think he's an immortal. If it skips yeah. her. Yeah, it will go right back around. It's you, Wendy. You're dead. <laughs> They didn't see the movies we saw, so they don't know that it circles back. They don't know the rules. Oh, damn, this ending is a little bit more akin to the first one. There is someone blurry face. What does blurry face mean? That's what was next to her, and then this was just blurry. 180. This could be the first time our lead character dies to close out the movie. I don't think so, but could be. This is Booth Street. Next stop is on. End of the line. The next stop is the end of the line. This is him. Yeah. You hear it? That's Tony yeah. Todd. Yeah. Let's go throwing. Let's go in. Yeah. What is going to be the domino effect with this candy bar? This is it. Oh, yo, coming through. Man. Oh, she's going to get off and they don't. That's going to be pro Oh, oh her sister. God. No, it's her sister. I knew right. it. Didn't I yeah, say that? Damn, you are you are nailing this Thank one, you dude. So much. You really are. Finally getting credit where credit is due. Ian was going to cause your death. You intervened and it skipped us. Why does death wait so long? Five months. To make them feel comfortable. Hey, guys. This is Julie and my... 
Oh. He's on the train. Damn it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Claim what's yours, Death. How many of them are going to make it? One, Cl two, or three? None. None? None. Claim death. Yeah, I think this might be the first time they all die. Julie's definitely. Ooh, claim. Or is this another vision? Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn. I guess it's just really happening. I was wondering if it was another, like, premonition. That would have been wild because then they would have had to. <laughs> we should do this all yeah. over again. <laughs> oh. Is she the only survivor? But everybody you love is dead. What a train. <laughs> it was a vision. <laughs> you okay? Something wrong? They don't have time to get off, though. Yeah, what do you do? We gotta get out! It's not working! We're gonna just end it, yeah. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. I got nipple chills at that ending there. Yeah, that was wild. Ooh, I got, like, Damn. actual goosebumps everywhere. I, I have to, have to know Ryan Merriman. Now, That's the wh first thing we're gonna take in? care of. Okay, no, but it wasn't him that it was the guy that was in the other movie. I, I need to I need to do my due diligence right now. Don't you talk about the movie. I have to do my due diligence. You're going to, okay. Well, because, we, All right. because for two reasons. Number one, what's the newspaper movie? And <laughs> number two. Devil's Voice was Tony Todd. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good catch. We got to get our Tony in there. Oh. Um, well. What's your um? My um did is. Did you love it? I like that one a lot. Most? It might be there okay, again, there are things about the other ones I preferred. So you but, all, all of them are kind of even because of that? I I think that this one is the better uh, God, okay, all right. Before I get the comparisons out of the way. I really liked uh, a Mary Elizabeth Winstead a lot. I love the main guy. And I thought this one did the things that I was wanting it to actually do when you asked. But I didn't think they would just because I was like, ah, we're in sequel territory now. Where they wrung a lot of tension. It was more reflective in between scenes. Like there was actual tension when there wasn't scary stuff happening. And the two main characters, at least, I thought were a, a, a markedly better improvement than the the prior film the the first one is probably still the best movie to me but i love the look of this film a lot i thought this film looked great i was more connected with the with the couple main characters though i was too but not not necessarily in the first one but then the second one yes ryan merriman was the guy in um Luck of the Irish and Smart House. He did the DCOMs. That's why I know him. What movie did was there a newspaper that you watched? I gotta find that. But I don't but think. Did you not see any of those DCOMs? No. What's a DCOM? Disney Channel original movie. Oh, I didn't have Disney Channel growing up. That was did like none of those Cheetah Sisters or like my High School Musical. Yeah, I didn't have. That was Disney past Channel. my time, but yeah. oh, okay. Well, they were big. Like. I remember watching him. That's where I, I was like, oh, that younger thing. Okay, so that was that. And this other guy, Jesse Moss. Let's see. Oh, Tucker and Dale versus, versus evil. evil. He's the bad <laughs> guy in Tucker and with Dale the versus Evil. Yes. <laughs> That's a comedy. You called it a horror film. I was like, what horror movie are you talking it's about? It's a horror comedy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah, for most sure, yeah. I couldn't <laughs> remember the name of it. Yes. But I was right. Yeah, you were. I he just, was the bad yeah, guy. I just couldn't get there, oh, but I was there. God. And I remember, I was like, he's either played a really nice guy or a no, douchebag. No, I told bag. you he played a dick. <laughs> he was, yeah, he he's one yeah. of them, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, I feel so... Um, satisfied right now like, yes. that was great so okay 
Oh, uh, I could not pinpoint that. Yeah, uh, it was bothering me I too. Was like, I was you like, you made me watch it, and it is a newspaper, Greg. <laughs> all you remember was Jelly the same when she was the bad guy. And I, I might have been like, oh. I did. I said he was the he, he was a dick in the evil movie <laughs> <laughs> with the newspaper. You are, with the newspaper. The newspaper the the movie? is like the, one of the last things you would think of when it comes to Tucker and Dale. <laughs> the newspaper. It's all I could remember a, was a him. a billion <laughs> other iconic moments out That's of that movie. That's all I could remember. And all, remember, all you could pull is newspaper. You couldn't even pull him. I at least pulled newspaper. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is what happens to me where I can't remember. I remember <laughs> weird moments in movies. I just have always been like, there's that weird one line or moment that for News. some reason stuck with me. I just remember... <laughs> Him presenting the newspaper and us knowing, like, his parents were, the dad was the one that was the murderer. Yeah. That's all I I remember. I forgot about that. That's the newspaper. The newspaper tells us. Yeah, okay. That's how I knew him. That's how you know him. Oh, and then you had had questions about the the sister, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's chit, 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 check it, check it out. Check it. She was um, named Julie, so she should be, okay, Amanda Crew is her name. No idea. No, and I was thinking she was Shannon. Dolores. Dolores. Shannon. Miller. She was in Sex Drive. She was in The Haunting. She was in Age of Adeline. Yep. I haven't seen any of those. Mm. All right. All yeah. right. Well, Good talk. That answers that. Um, I still feel the first movie had the best ensemble overall. But I prefer the the lead characters here, if that makes sense. Like you isolate the lead characters and the relationship, how that all formed. I I was more connected to that. The first movie, and and I I bought more of the drama this time around. Whereas, like I was was finding myself taking some of the drama serious. I was taking the drama seriously, and some of the conversation scenes seriously. Whereas in the first and second movie, they're kind of like cheesy fun <laughs> instead of me actually taking them serious. What I thought this movie was actually missing a little bit of, though, was it it did kind of lose some fun. Uh, and not not I was never bored. I was never like not entertained, but it did take itself like really serious to the point where I I could have used just a a tiny like sprinkles of a, of of some of that energy from the second one. I I see what you're saying, but I didn't feel that way. I think that this kind of was a perfect combination of one and two. It's probably my favorite one. Yeah, yeah. might be mine too. Honestly, because as I'm talking, I'm thinking about the ensemble, I actually maybe preferred the ensemble most in this. I thought that there oh, was really, really good okay. chemistry here, and the, uh, it is a little. Their characters across the franchise are very typical. I, I know yeah. that uh, the internet gets annoyed with me when I say this, but I'm just going to do it anyway because it's what I think. A lot of times, like angry woman or like dumb bimbo or whatever even with like um the black guy who doesn't believe what's happening and like they it seems like they have their archetypes and they kind of stick to it movie after movie which um i think hopefully in the fourth and fifth one I, we hear the fourth one's not that great hopefully they kind of like shake that up because i would yeah. love to see not the like boyfriend who is the nice one and the wo- and the girlfriend who's super angry all the time. Whatever it is, I feel like yeah. we, we kind of are hitting the same character types. But the chemistry in this one I really liked, and the combo of the, our two main leads being maybe two of the more recognizable. Like in this movie, they, compared to the other ones, they're very good actors. They did a really good job in this. Um, yeah, just I liked this. I liked. I like the opening of this. I like um, that they very quickly, again, know they reference the other movie so they know what's happening. We don't have to spend a whole hour figuring yeah. out, like, why are we? is everybody dying, you mm-hmm. know? Once the franchise decided that they weren't going to do that, I'm, I think that was a really smart choice. It's, yeah. I thought, I think this one is not as, like, the second one's more chaotic. Like, it, 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 it's a little bit more metal, the second one. You know, with the with the lottery winner death, the highway sequence, the dentist scene, that one actually is. I think it's, I think the second was more violent too. Yeah, and definitely there was more gore in that one for sure. Yeah, and this one, it, it's it's gory, but it's definitely not as exploitive gore as I thought they would go. I thought like, oh, we're doing a part three. We're gonna go even crazier the with the gore. One, though, with the, the head one's pretty gross. The, 
You know what's weird? But the third, but the second one's like borderline a Saw movie. You know, with with the way some of those deaths yeah. go down. Yeah. I feel like I I've liked them more every one then. So I one I really liked, then two I liked it slightly more, and three I think is my favorite. Yeah. That doesn't happen often, especially with a horror franchise. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. That, that's, that's cool. cool. That's cool, man. <laughs> that's cool, Final Destination. Y'all yeah. did it. I can't believe that you got Highway to Hell and I got Roller Coaster I of know. Love. What's the. Let's de- see the thumbnail of the fourth one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. See, see if we can, can <laughs> predict what, is what the, song it would be. What is the death? If you have to pick one death from this that stands out to you, what is it? From Not the franchise, from this movie. Uh. Hold on, which one's the fourth one? Mm. Is it? Is Remember, they called it the final. Oh god, this one, this one just called Final Destination Five. <laughs> uh, oh, that gives me nothing on this poster. Ooh, I don't want to find out. That could be well, funny. glass. Maybe yeah, ha- but it could just it be like a be, generic. It could be Heart of Glass. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not a bad call. <laughs> Let's see. What's the death that stands out to you? The death that stood out to me the most here. I mean, the one I'll probably remember the most is the uh, is the tanning booth one. That's the one that stands out to me the most too. But that's the one where they was they were really drawing like everyone else's death. Correct me if I'm wrong, but everyone else's death is like domino effect, domino effect. They're dead. Whereas that one was like suffering, <laughs> you know. And I think that's 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 what the second one. Uh, why I say that's borderline saw is because there's there was a lot more suffrage that was happening <laughs> with characters, you know. Yeah. And, and and this one didn't really do that. It was kind of like watch death do domino effect. What did you call it? What was the thing you said? Rube Goldberg. Rube Goldberg. Yeah. There's the Rube Goldberg, and then and then they just die. And there's some like disturbing imagery, but I do think the. The characters, yeah, they have, like, the ones that are super, ster- like, the two girls in the Tanny booth are, like, beyond stereotypical. Uh, the, the But they're still fun. Of- they're fun yeah. characters, especially for the time period. It was very common like that. And Definitely. I thought, it was, yeah, they were still, it didn't bother me. It was just like, okay, we get it. And I believe the, the Mc- who was it, McClunky? Mc- McKinley. Mc- McKinley, yeah, M- McKinley, uh, his, his ponderings that he would express, I believed him. Like that, he they seem like a he weirdly seemed like a real character to me instead of let's give this guy dialogue to to reflect some of the themes of yeah. the movie. You know, it actually seemed like yeah, I I believe this guy. I felt that way too, especially when he's like, you know, death is what happens when the energy is the way. Like all this stuff, I was like, oh, I knew so many of you in high school. There, you guys were like a whole group of pretentious. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever that was. But yeah, I thought that was really good. Yeah. I thought that was really effing good. This franchise is so solid. What a bummer that we hear the fourth one isn't great. I'm excited to see it anyway because I'm sure there are good moments. But like, what if we walk away saying it's our favorite? What if we're like, that's the best one? Then death might come get us. <laughs> Honestly, they're like, no, you don't deserve it. Uh, but th- so far, this. M- I mean, this whole franchise is excellent. It's been really fun. And I feel like this is the one we took the most serious. Like, I feel like we kind of take the piss out of them a little bit more. But this one, we were like, this is, I'm taking this seriously, which is a good sign, actually. Who is your but, favorite character in this? In this one? Yeah. Um, I really like Mary. I mean, I, I felt like Mary Elizabeth Winstead actually had an arc because she's very timid and she's closed off. And then by the end, she's got like a set of friends now. And she seems like she's, you could see physically her transformation that she has grown into someone more confident and that she has gone through the grieving process. Even before she dies. Yeah, before she dies, her death is like, <laughs> go fuck yourself, <laughs> which I really love. I, lo- I love the way how they do kill off everyone in the end. But I guess there's just no way to really, def- I don't, I still don't get how, can someone clarify that for me if you made it this far? How did the characters in the second one defeat death, but... These guys didn't. It's I, gonna I, keep looping back, and looping back. But that didn't happen with the characters in the second one. It did. They no. It, it sk- it, remember, it moved on to the little boy. Then I don't think it moved on to them. I think it's hitting them simultaneous. I am assuming they're gonna but the, looping it, back to them. And the, same with the characters in the first one. The little boy had nothing to do. What do you think death is? Because there's death. I, I feel like there's got to be like multiple reapers. Because, you know, people are 150,000 people are dying every day, like they said here, at least in this world of Final Destination, 150,000 people die every day. So there's got to be, like, 
one Reaper's assignment per case on something like this. It was just has to, you know what I mean? Because it, it's, it's more of like a God scenario where they're overseeing a lot at once. You think there's one Reaper who's seeing I don't, all? Or I, don't really like think multiple? It's a, I don't think it's a Reaper. I think death. Death. Is seeing. So like, oh, you mean like an omnipresent yeah, yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And in the order, and there's like clusters. Okay. Yeah, I imagine they're kind of like a citadel of <laughs> like death employees, and like someone's trying to make a good impression. Yeah. So in the first one, none of them are still left anymore because the only survivor, the two survivors, we found out one of them died, and yeah. one of them moved on to the next one. Yeah. In the next one, the two people lived, right? Yes. And in this one, we're assuming she got smushed by the train. Oh, they all died. Yeah, for sure. So I wonder if we're gonna get any of the two. From two and four yeah. or five, <sighs> maybe maybe David Devin saw what actually is love. I feel like they should. I bring keep Tony telling Hall you, back. that's yeah. what I, how I kept. I feeling. mean, you got a lot right this time, so I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna go with the fact that I think you might be right, but you I could do, be wrong. I do love the ending here of, of how she has the premonition again, and death is just like go to hell. Because we yeah. think the way that the premonition works this time, I'm like, oh, they killed them all, and then I'm like, oh, they didn't. So yeah. I think we're in the clear. I think we're going to stop it. And then they're like, ha, ah, sucker. Yeah. I, 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 look, I think the second movie's highway sequence is masterfully executed. I do. I think, though, but that one is just so crazy. This one felt like, this could really happen. <laughs> like, that there, that what happens here on the roller coaster, that is a fear of mine. And, you know, you've seen news reports where, yeah, they are just stuck upside down, and like it's happened to people, and, and, and some terrible a- tragedies that happened on roller coasters before. Yes, on planes and highways as well. But there was something about this one that, other than like he happens to grab the dude when he's you know f- grabs the, the I forget the black jock's name, whatever his name is. Um, he grabs that guy. Other than that, everything else was like this seems very real, and and there was such a tension to it. Mm-hmm. The, like the the highway one was like crazy and fun. This one was like, this is truly scary what's happening right now. That yeah. was actually, like the highway one wasn't scary to me. The highway one was really fun. This one was, um, I am I am literally like scared <laughs> of what's happening. The reason I think I liked this opening the best is because we see car accidents in movies all the time, even though this was on a grander scale. And we do a lot on the road, like even with. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, just franchise movies, just even this year, right? There's, like, a lot of car chases, a lot of car accidents, just so much car stuff. Same thing with plane crashes. We do see a decent amount of it, even with, like, Lost and Yellow Jackets and, um, of course, in movies, too, or, like, you think the plane's going down. I can't recall seeing in a movie a big roller coaster accident. Yeah. At, and I think that's re- I think the roller coaster to make Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character so much about uh, someone who has this fear and this sense of this need to control when you put them in a situation where you have no control. Mm-hmm. Like there's some semblance of you can at least move around on a plane or you're driving car. Yeah. the car. Yeah. But on a roller coaster, you are locked in and trapped <laughs> in a situation like that. So I love the thematically to line up her character with that as well i just think this one's shot the best too i think out of all three of them this one looks the best of them it all. felt like it had a, a, a bigger bu- yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Like it's cinematography i wonder if it was the same cinematographer actually or if they went with somebody new well james wong directed the first one and then he came back for this one so, so did they use the same person that I, they previously i felt like he refined his work um but no, overall, man, I thought th- I think this was a this was a really I really like this one a lot. I was re- I was really impressed with this one. What's your ranking? I think right now I would have to go. It's impossible to beat the freshness of the first one, right? It's impossible to beat that. Oh, it's Robert McLachlan who did Game of Thrones, Lovecraft. Country, uh, this one, um, th- the cinematographer. Oh wow! Did uh, a few episodes of Ray Donovan. He's done a lot of the shows that we like. He did 1923. Um, oh damn! He did nineteen twenty three. Yeah, um, as yeah, he's DP'd a, a lot of um, great Westworld. Oh, sweet! Interesting, interesting. Okay, sorry, you were in the middle of talking when I interrupted you to do that. No, you interrupted me with important information. With the facts, nothing but the 
Facts. Facts. But we got to get you out of here, yeah, though, okay. too, because you got to go to your, your grant. All right. So then let's give a special shout out. Well, I mean, we should wrap up. All right. You know, a little bit more, too, you know? Okay. Well, say you the say, you say the stuff, but leave the like. You want to? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me say the stuff. Leave a like. Comment. Make sure you're subscribed. Be here for our next one. Hopefully, if you guys like this video, we continue watching the franchise. Um, and make sure that you make it safely to your final destination of heaven one day, <laughs> not today. Hopefully a long time from now. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> and the shout out? And Oh, yeah, and a shout out. What's going on? To who? I think we should do uh, Daniel Gallagher. But I liked what you did before where you did this Boston acronym thing. Oh, okay, cool. So I think you should... I just think you should give it another Ooh, shot. Ooh, Daniel Gallagher. Sounds okay. like an Irish guy from Boston. Fucking Daniel Gallagher, <laughs> dude. Yeah. All right, Daniel, here. What do we got? D is for... Uh, D is for... Duncan. Donkeys. <laughs> you got every, America runs on Duncan, you know. A is for angels in the outfield, which is baseball, which Red Sox we got there. N is for Newton. It's where I'm from. I did that last time, but, you know, sometimes you just got to go back to it. I is for Icy. It's so cold there in the winter. It's just ice on the ground. You got to make sure you have your salt to put it on the ice. E is for England, comma, new, because it's in New England, because that's where Boston is. And the L is for... Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Gallagher. There we go. Thanks for being a patron. Honestly, um, you are the sexiest of the rejects. And that's the title that you've earned today. How'd we do? Uh, I think there was no we. It was all you. Thank you. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, we'll see you guys next time for Final Destination 4. Yeah, think? might as well. <laughs> Might as well find out how terrible it is. I'm nervous about that one. I think we have the lowest expectations. Yeah, so it could be good. It's a means to an end. The fifth one's supposed to be good. Okay, yeah. So the fifth one, some people say it's the best. And we'll cover that in like four weeks when you're back from Boston. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay, bye. bye.